close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with it all the way in, all the way out. Really put your heart into this. This is something that's really good to do. The Buddha talks about one of the prerequisites for doing well in the practice is to have respect for concentration. That means even though the concentration doesn't seem all that interesting or amazing to begin with, you take care of what little you've got. You don't want to throw it away. This is only through nurturing the little you've got that it can, can become large. And the nurturing comes from your intentness. It's one of the bases for success. It goes together with the desire. In other words, you really want to do this well. And you want to focus your desires in the right place. In other words, on the causes. When the causes are taken care of, then the results will come. And then the causes mean what? Anything unskillful comes up, you're not going to pay attention to it. You're not going to get involved. Skillful things come up, you want to stay with them. You want to nurture them. And so it requires some discernment to see which is which, and also to have some knowledge about how you develop a skillful quality and not lose it, how you can push away an unskillful quality. So at least for the time being, it doesn't come back. All of these qualities go together so you can actually succeed in the meditation. One of the most destructive ideas out there is that there is no such thing as good meditation or bad meditation because everything just is the present moment. Of course it's the present moment, but the present moment we're suffering. That's a problem to be solved. And so you work on the solution. As the Buddha said, it's as if your head were on fire. You don't let yourself get distracted by little things. You focus on the important task at hand. Put the fire out and do whatever needs to be done. You're really intent on doing this. And it's your intentness that will make a difference, because discernment requires that you be in, intently aware of what you're doing and what the results are. If you're just there part of the time and not there part of the time, there are huge gaps in your knowledge. And it's in those big gaps that you're, a lot of the ignorance hides out. So we want to be intent on sticking with the breath all the way in, all the way out, being intent on making it as comfortable as we can, paying careful attention. And that way the meditation is going to succeed.